tell the new guy what you let the old guy get away with. I don't care how badly he treated you. I don't know why women do that. I don't know why women go into new relationships telling this new guy about all the atrocious things that you put up with before. You don't want to tell him all the horror stories that that other man put you through. Yeah, you're going to be perceived as dumb. You're not going to be perceived yes. as kind and forgiving. And no, nope. you're going to be perceived as dumb. I think um, in the past, uh, the victim place was a good place to be for some women. Some women found solace in the new man in telling the new man what the old man had done. But that, that's not how things work. It actually works against you. Once you tell a guy, a new guy that, oh, I, I left my other guy because he cheated on me five times. Now that's his threshold for how many yep. times he should be able to cheat on now you. Now he like, okay, four times. Four th exactly. <laughs> four times. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and you might have grown to a point in your own space, right, where you say one time is going to be too many times, right? That might be your new standard. Mm -hmm. But if the guy cheats on you one time and then you say, you know what, I'm, I'm drawing the line here, he's going to say, oh, but you let the last guy cheat on you four or five times. But now I make one mistake and now you're ready to, you know, to, to hit the road. But the truth of the matter is that you messed up by even letting him know yeah. that your standards were too low in the past. I right, just going to hop into it real quick. Go ahead, Mila. What are your thoughts about that? Don't let the old, don't let the new guy know anything. agree to yeah i think it could be mm -hmm. at your detriment because people are manipulative and they're gonna take advantage i also think it just depends on the guy too right i don't i won't say that that could be a bad thing for everybody i think you just have to have a little bit of discernment of what you share with people especially in the stages of the dating process you shouldn't be oversharing um, I think it's good to establish those boundaries. Um, but I think certain things you just don't need to bring to your new relationship, period. Like if you're starting with a new person, just with a fresh start and be mindful of things, you know, be very discerned. You got to have your discernment. I think that's the key because um, people will manipulate you. Um, yeah. But I don't really got a lot of relationship experience like that, y'all. So I'm probably not the best person to ask. But. That's what I would say. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Trey. Yeah, yeah, I I completely um, agree that that can be used against you depending on the person, right? So I I always advise people to be very careful about what you discuss in the beginning because, like she mentioned, you definitely um, people will look at the thresholds like, oh, okay, well, and and us as men uh, usually. We're not trying to hear anything you let the last guy do. I'm not even trying to hear it. I'm, I'm going to be able to do that, too. Or you don't love me the same, damn it. That's just how I feel about it. So not to say that I would want to cheat on a woman several times or whatever, but that I'm just saying whatever you tolerated from somebody else, don't don't try to get brand new on me. That's just how I feel or men. A lot of men feel in general. So the only sticky part about it is let's say I ask this question. What if I ask you? Have you been cheated on before? Um, are you now to be deceitful? Are you to be withdrawn? Are, are you supposed to just be dishonest now and say, well, well, no, I never got cheated on, but really you did. So, I mean, that's the hard part about it. it I wouldn't really offer that information, but if asked, I mean, the best policy is honesty. No matter what it is that you're doing, you're still going to have to discern no matter what. You can't avoid it. You're going to have to vet no matter what, you just don't put yourself in that type of situation. And you're going to have to let people know that you do have boundaries, right? It is what it is. You, you just, when you're having these talks, you just have to let them know that there's something that you're not going to tolerate, right? They can think what they want, but it's up to you to accept what you're going to accept and not accept what you won't. You don't allow people to walk all over you. If, if cheating is a no-go for you, then... That's something that you shouldn't tolerate. You should have zero tolerance for it. So it, it no matter how you do it, you're still going to have to have your own boundaries. You can't just say, all right, now, because I told this person this, they just going to be cool. Okay, so they know not to do that. Nah, you're going to have to vet. Experience is the best teacher, right? Um, I always say try not to make the same mistakes with people. So if, if you know that this is where you went wrong with your last relationship, then you're going to have to do better the next time. But it all depends on what type of man that you're dealing with. And it's not just a man thing. It's a human thing because females understand that too, right? So they'll see like, okay, well, 
he let his last chick run him or she didn't respect him. So I'm not going to respect him. So you just have to understand. Get with somebody who's going to respect you. You have to get with people who have the habits that go along with what it is that you're planning for in the first place. So that's the real way around it. It's going to be within your vetting and it's going to be within your discernment. You're going to have to figure it out for yourself. All right. We'll go to Marcus and Shan. Marcus, what are your thoughts about that? Uh, when I used to be toxic, I 100% agree. If you let her, if you let him cheat five times and you don't let me cheat six, you like him more. But then I grew up and I don't feel that way no more. And I use it to navigate, to not hurt you. Like, all right, well, you, you have an issue with gaslighting, right? Because the last person he was dating gaslit the shit out of you. So I'm going to make sure I, I'm intentional about not putting myself in that situation where it even can appear that way. So I use it to, to navigate you better. But there was a time when I'm, I might have used it the other way. I'm not even going to hold you when I was much younger. Um, yeah, so I think it depends on who you're running into. I would say the best advice would be instead of, um, instead of just coming out saying, I let this person do this, just communicate it via your boundaries that you have an issue with certain things. You don't have to say you let anybody do it. Because, again, that, that's part of that the toxicity of you're not going to let no other man have more. You'll do more than I did. You know what I'm saying? So you don't even got to go down that road. Just explain, like, you know, I, I, you know, this is a hard no for me. And then we can move forward from there. I think that's probably the best the best way to go about that. But don't, don't they do that on the dating apps? No, no this, no that, no that. You already know she went through it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So even if you do that, they still going to know. They but, do but we don't know the extent, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you say no cheating and you leave after one per one time getting cheated on, okay, I get it. But if you say no cheating and you told me you let dude cheat for two years and then you find it left and then you leave me after one, you don't love me. Mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mark is still actually believe that he still has that ideology. He just doesn't utilize it like he used to. <laughs> No, I, no, I'm, I'm saying right, right now, I use it to make sure I don't hurt the person. No, I get no. What yeah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. I still had that ideology though that if you, if that nigga cheated on you seven times, uh, and you break up with me after the first time, I fuck up. You don't love me, but he tries to navigate by not doing it. He says, "Okay, I understand that you got cheated on, so therefore I'm not gonna participate in the cheating." Yeah, yeah, no, I, I got yeah. some. That's that's probably my. I told you, my I'm a line stepper. So if you drew a line, I kind of want you to move the line for me. But I'm gonna do it positively. But I am so <laughs> a line stepper. Let, let's let's we, we, all, we all got some slightly toxic. Well, not we all. I'm gonna say I have. That's my one slightly toxic trait. Like, I, 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 yeah, I be trying to drive through the fork in the road. So I'm gonna do what I want to do. And if you and if you put a constraint on me, it's gonna make me really want to do what I want to do. So yeah. Uh. Oh no, Shane wanna go next. Shane, go yeah, go ahead, Shane. It's my turn. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I never tell um, the new guy what the old guy let you get away with. I'm not telling him anything. Why were we talking about exes in a new relationship? I'm not because talking about important. that. I know people is being asked. I'm not first of all, I'm not gonna volunteer information. But if he says, okay, what well, was you know, why did you and your ex break up? I may say he's cheating. That's all he was cheating. I stopped because he was cheating. I'm not gonna be like, oh, he cheated on me a thousand and one times. And no, nah, that's way too much information. <laughs> or what? I'm not giving out that much information. And I will hope so. Fortunately, I haven't been in a situation where people just want to know about my ex. Thank God. No. Because I don't want to know about yours. <laughs> what? Do y'all oh, ask those oh, questions oh, when y'all oh. in a relationship? Oh, tell me about your ex. You know? Well, it's not it's not tell you about your ex, but I think that you should I think a person that wants to know like how you function, I think you can kind of measure that based off the previous relationship that you've been in. So it, it, it's not to get personal, but it's more so to get to know a little bit more about you and, and how you function. So if you was to say, well, it was toxic, then that would probably lead me to want to go a little bit further and question and to try to figure out, like, how was it toxic? You might have been the person that was contributing to it. And that may give me a little bit more insight as far as how I'm going to deal with you. 
So I, I think asking the, the right questions is important. I don't think enough people ask enough questions. And that's something that I didn't often do, but it's something that I had to learn. So if you ask the right questions, then you can, you can learn a lot. And I don't see anything wrong with asking questions about your previous relationship, because if you really think about it, it didn't work out. So that's it's, it's going to be in the form of, of trauma because it's another bad experience, another bad relationship that now um, I'm getting not necessarily left over, but as a result of what happened in your previous relationship, now you're starting a new one and it's with me. I need to know what I'm getting myself into. Now, I will say that I have been, I, I, I did ask that question, but that person was married. And so I wanted to know why didn't the marriage work? So for me, when I'm asking a question, it's going to be on that level. I don't care about the girlfriend, but if you are married, which is a lot of you know, the men that I date now, I want to know well, why didn't that marriage work? I don't necessarily just for me. And I haven't had, well, I've never been married, but um, them ask. Now I have said, okay, what will happen between you and your last relationship? But it's usually a small little one-liner. I don't get into detail, you know, so I'm not giving out that information. Not that it was bad. It's just. <laughs> I mean, that's what some people do too. Some people don't ask questions because they don't want them saying questions to ask to them. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is, but. Mm, I figure you'll find I'll find out. 